can find it. You're not supposed to be here. Good day to you. Have a great... He can't stop you. Okay, the abandoned house. The abandoned house. Let's go. Someone lives there too. But where is this abandoned house? This must be it. So empty house I could activate. What's the ground for? So it's Dr. Brown entry to can the moon. I finally come to the realization that the Toucan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of beating Sun and Clinton. 
ceaseless pounding of the lagoon waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from Scurley or hearing Nidbum screams as he is devoured by muck, a muck, the muckle shark. I'm quite simply bored. It is time to reset the simulation once again. I haven't been skiing in ages. So I'm um, Yesterday, did I slip on the short icy stairs with went airborne and managed to impale himself on the wood wrought iron fence. It was spectacular and completely and utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than that? Boiled chrism on fresh fallen snow? Fresh fallen snow? It was almost enough to make me we consider a change of scenery, but not quite. Twenty three years is long enough vacation in the Swiss Alps. I long for something more domestic. Tranquility Lane has surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting, although distracting. Distractingly American, it somehow reminds me of Roll Notch, the town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony with this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. When I toy with them, when there is suburban and Illusion is suddenly broken. It's that much more satisfying. I do believe we shall all remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time indeed. Access Chinese Invasion Program. Takuma, here is the revised code for the military training program you express interest in. I'm not sure exactly what you want with the NI, NI against us, but this program was never designed to be run with it. so civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access to can run it. Today. But if you can run this program with the LCs off, you, as requested, your Google test subjects will die. If killed in the simulation, it goes without saying that officially I deny your requests. Okay. Exit drink. What do you mean? Oh damn. Well, I'm out of here. Uh, my bed. I didn't mean to do it. Whoops. My bed. Do you really? 
realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell, alone. You ruined everything. Everything! I know, my bad. Uh. It is not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I... I just want things to go back the way they were. Uh, tell me about the Gek. The Garden of Eden creation kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? Where is he? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. Tell me about this, please. This is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Who are you? My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault -Tec scientist. I created this simulation for vault -Tec, but for myself as well. It was my own design, my own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the Gek. You like the Gek? So I'm going to leave? Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Run along now. Goodbye. Saved me. Yeah. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Oh, it's so good to see you. But what are you doing here? Uh you don't know what happened. What happened? What are you doing here? What answers? You came all this way and risked your life for answers. They must be important to you. Oh yeah. So you've been lying to me the whole time? Yes. I lied about where you were born, about where I was born. I admit that. At the time, I felt the truth would only encourage you to try and leave the vault, to go looking for your past. Perhaps I should have handled things differently. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I promise you, I won't. I'm going to need your help. Now that I have what I came for, I need to get back to Rivet City right away. Back to Rupert? I can't do this on my own. Madison, Dr. Lee has a team of scientists working at Rivet City. They'll have to help. The facility hasn't been used in years. There'll be enough work for a good number of people. And it will take us a while. The sooner I get to Rivet City, the sooner Madison and I can get to work. What about me? What did you want me to do? Yes, what about you? Why, in fact, are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. Ah, uh, screw the vault. <laughs> Is that so? You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want from life already? I suppose it doesn't matter now. I suspect there's no going back for either of us. We'll just have to forge on ahead. Won't we? Well, yeah. Well, let's head back to Rivet City. That's my girl. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, 
I want to get back to work as soon as possible. What exactly is Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. So what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. <laughs> How did Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. What's the big deal about water, anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. I have to go. Be careful, sweetie. I'm sorry that I am not at liberty to chat right now. Nothing's on the hot keys anymore. Do it. It's broken. Well, I'll see you guys at River City and continue this story. Well, we're done with the simulation, and we learned that my dad was a dog. A dog in the simulation. Well, I was lucky to guess that code for the failsafe and I accidentally killed the whole town with a Chinese image in simulation. Bad move there, but at least I found my father and we're going to continue our adventure back to Rivet City and play
figure out what this gig is about. Thanks for watching, and see you guys all next time on the next episode of Bot 3. And thank you for watching a bit.